Here we have a problem on lenses. A certain slide projector has a 100mm focal length lens. How far away is the screen if a slide is placed 103mm from the lens and produces a sharp image? If the slide is 24 by 36 millimeters, what are the dimensions of the image? So let's write down our knowns first. We know that the focal length of the lens is 100 millimeters. We also know that the slide, which is the object, is placed 103 millimeters in front of the lens. Then we know the dimensions of the slide. Um, I'm going to call them X object and Y object. So X object is 24 millimeters, Y object <clears throat> is 36 millimeters. And for our unknowns, we are looking for the image distance first. We want to know where the screen is so that the image is formed um, clearly sharp on the screen. And then we want the dimensions or the image of the image, the dimensions of the slide, X image and Y image. So these are the three things that we're looking for. So let's draw a diagram of this. We have an object that is going to be projected through a, a lens and forming an image on a screen. So remember that an object that forms an image will form a real image on a screen. And real images are inverted, so here will be the image on the screen. So I'm going to write here that real images can be projected on a screen screen and are inverted. Now what types of lenses do we know that form real images? We only know of one and that one is a converging lens. So a converging lens, lens looks something like this. So what we know about a converging lens is that it has a po positive focal length. So I'm going to put a plus sign here then we know that the object is placed in front of the lens, so that is a positive object distance. Um, and then remember that when the image is on the other side of the lens, since we expect beams of light to travel all the, all the way through a lens and form an image on the other side, the image distance would be positive on the right side of the lens. So we have an object distance that's positive, light beams start from the left, uh, go through the lens and form on the other side of the lens. Um, so these are the, the things that we know from theory. Now let's apply um, physics equations and solve for uh, the unknowns. So in the first part, we know the focal length and the object distance and we're looking for the image distance. So we can use 1 over di is 1 over f minus 1 over do. Um, I just uh, worked out the, the, len the lens equation, which just says that 1 over f is 1 over di plus 1 over do. Um, so that 1 over di is 1 over, uh, what's f, 100 millimeters minus 1 over do, that's 103 millimeters. So that means that di is 1 over that, and when you solve for it, you get 3,433 millimeters. So this will be the image distance um, for this particular lens. Now in part B, we're looking for the image height and um, image width, so we can use the magnification equation, which says that m is negative di over do. So we're, we're trying to figure out the magnification of the lens, and that's going to be negative 3, 4, 3, 3 divided by do, which is 103. So the magnification is um, negative 33.33. So looking at this, we get a negative number. 
This negative number for the magnification means that the image is upside down. And that is correct for the problem that we're working with, for a convex, sorry, converging lens that forms a real image, and the real image is upside down, so we get a negative magnification. So, so far we're good. Now, we also know that magnification is negative xi over xo or negative hi over ho or negative yi over yo. So basically, we have here the image size divided by the object size. And it's a linear quantity. So we have the um, image um, width divided by the object width and the image um, height divided by the object height. And I actually messed up here because there is no negative sign in the, this equation. There is only a negative sign in the previous one, in the one with uh, di and do. So magnification is xi over xo or yi over yo. So when we saw for the image um, width, the xi, we get m times xo where m was negative 33.33 times xo, which was 24. And that gives us about 800 millimeters. And it's a negative sign. So this is the xi. Then the yi is going to be yo. Magnification, again, is negative 33.33. Um, y is 36. So when we multiply those together, we get about 1,200 millimeters. And that also is negative. So the negative signs here basically tell us that the image is inverted. So it's flipped left to right, and it is also upside down. That's what the negative signs stand for. So this is a fairly straightforward um, lens problem.